Hello, uh, this is a video for introduction to ethics. I'm going to sort of go through the Canvas site and all the related sites and all the technical stuff. It's totally optional. If you uh, can figure this stuff out on your own, uh, go ahead and do that. But uh, this is if you're confused, you want uh, me to walk you through all the various things. So this is what Canvas will hopefully look like when you log in. If you can't log into Canvas, please email me and uh, we'll fix that. So first off, at the top, we have this introduce yourself thing. This will bring you to uh, Flipgrid. Flipgrid is also here on the left. Flipgrid is what we'll use for recording uh, videos for each other. So this is optional. Uh, you'll record the videos to participate in discussion questions, but if you want, you can write out your discussion questions instead. So you don't need to use Flipgrid in the course, except for this introduction thing. Technically, the introduction is optional. It would be very nice if you do it. I would like to meet everybody and let everybody meet everybody uh, because we can't do that in person. Uh, but if it's just like too many logins and stuff and you don't want to deal with Flipgrid on top of Canvas, uh, that's fine. You can sort of ignore it. Um, but if you want to try out Flipgrid, this is a good way to get used to it. You can click on Introduce Yourself, and it will take you to the assignment, and then that'll have you create your Flipgrid account. So that's Introductions. You have all the sort of main course information here under this Syllabus Course Information Rubric thing. The most important thing is the Syllabus, so this will just take you to a PDF file, and you can read the Syllabus, read the Syllabus, uh, that's very important. So read the syllabus, that'll tell you pretty much everything you need to know about the course. There's this discussion here, general questions. This is a place to post questions that you have about the course. If you want, you can email me, but uh, the nice thing about the discussion board is that probably other people have the question if you have the question. So instead of getting 12 emails uh, to me asking the same question, it's nice if you can post it there and then everybody gets to benefit from the question. There's this page, how to succeed in this course. These are some tips to basically like how to think about the course, how to approach the course, how to schedule uh, yourself. This is sort of optional, like these are just my tips that I think these will help you out in the course, but um, you can handle this all yourself if you'd like. Then there are the grading rubrics. Also under the grading rubrics are some annotation tips for perusal. So perusal is what we'll use for uh, the reading assignments each week. When you do the reading assignments, you'll also annotate them in this program called perusal. So this gives you some tips on how to do that. We'll get into more detail on that later. And then finally, in the resources section, we have two videos, a very short one called Arguments in Philosophy, a very long one called How to Read Philosophy, I highly recommend this video if you've never taken a philosophy course before. Uh, reading philosophy is a skill that you have to develop over time, so this will help you with that. And then this takes you to a resources page uh, with more tips on reading and writing if you need them. So that covers the sort of resources and syllabus and things like that. Then for the rest of the course, which is on the site so far, it's broken up into modules. So we have the introductory module, the Nicomachean Ethics module for Aristotle, the Kant module for Kant, the Mill module for Mill, and those are gonna be our first three topics and that'll take us through November. So for each of these modules, basically you have everything related to uh, those weeks. So at the top you have the lecture that's related to the lecture, uh, that's related to the topic. So we have this lecture for our first reading uh, on the first day of class, then we have the uh, introductory lecture for all of Aristotle and the lecture for the first reading and the lecture for the second reading and the lecture for the third and so on. So these just are links to YouTube. Under the lecture, we always have the PDF for the reading so that you can download it onto your computer, print it out, take notes, things like that. Here we have the PDF for all of the Aristotle, um, the PDF for all of the Kant, etc. So if you want, you can ignore the PDF entirely because right after the PDF or uh, in each week right after the lecture, we have the link to the perusal assignment. So if you click on this, it'll take you to another button and you click on this, 
And this brings you to perusal. And this doesn't work for me because I'm in student view, but basically it'll take you to the reading assignment in perusal. So if you want to do all your reading there, that's fine. You can just never download the PDF. I think it's nice to download the PDF because um, that th reading on perusal is not always easy. It's sort of cramped and things like that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's up to you. Uh, so that's the perusal assignment. So that's the reading that you'll do. And that's due Tuesday night and Thursday night before course uh, on Wednesday and Friday. So this first one is due Tuesday night, September 1st at midnight. So do the perusal assignment, the reading assignment for that. And then also for each reading, right under the perusal assignment, you have the reading quiz. So you click on this and it takes you to the quiz. And so uh, the quiz is, as I'll talk about in class, it's not like a test your knowledge thing. It's to help guide you through the readings. So really what you want to do is open this up, go through it, maybe even before you do the reading, maybe like after the lecture, before the reading, or at least have it open simultaneously with the reading. So you have the quiz and the reading, so you can go back and forth. Um, so that's my suggestion. And uh, for the first week, it's a little different. So um, the, there's no discussion here in the Anscombe thing because the discussion question for the first week will be about Aristotle. So after all of the readings and the lectures and the reading quizzes, you'll have the discussion question section. And so the discussion questions are broken up by week. So we have discussion question week one, week two, week three. So there's always three things in the discussion question section. At the top, the sort of main thing, it's, it's a quiz and you're saying, wait, hold on, discussion question quiz, but here's how it works. The, because you can do the discussion question either through the discussion board, which is the first link, so here's the discussion board for week one, you can post your question here, or you can do it via Flipgrid, you can record a video, so that's the link right here. Since you can do either of those, there's no easy way in Canvas to make an assignment that's like one or the other, so I just have this uh, reading, or this, this quiz that you take, so once you turn in your question, either on the discussion board or via Flipgrid, then you just take this quiz and you say, yes, I took the, I submitted my discussion question. So that's the quiz. So just remember to always take the quiz after you submit your discussion question. And so these, this is where discussion questions go. The discussion topic for that week, that's where you post your questions, but you can also have more discussion here. And of course you can have more discussion on Flipgrid too. So you can record videos in response to people, you can post discussion comments here in response to people's questions. You can post just stuff that's not discussion questions, just whatever you want can go in the discussion board because we're sort of missing out on course discussion. We'll have in-class meetings, but those are optional and they're not as good as face-to-face -face meetings. Uh, this will make up to some degree, hopefully, if you want to participate in those. So I encourage you to discuss like lots and lots of stuff here. Um, we'll see how that goes over the course. There's various things. Uh, that you, we can do to sort of encourage more discussion. I'm not like requiring discussion for your grade or anything like that, so there may not be a lot. Uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll see. Um, so that's discussion. And then at the very end of each module, you have the papers and the paper revision for that module. So we have our 500 word paper for Aristotle due and then the paper revision due. And so um, that's how it works for Aristotle, that's how it works for Kant, and that's how it works for Mill. So you have sort of all the reading assignments, all the reading quizzes, all the paper assignments, all the discussion uh, question assignments. The only discussion question posted while I record this is for Aristotle, but eventually we'll have them for Kant and Mill. So everything is basically on this page. You also have over here the upcoming things that are due. If you want, you can go to these links on the left. This assignment link takes you just to the assignments and uh, you can see them sorted in various ways. You can show by date or show by type. The Flipgrid takes you right to Flipgrid. The Discussions takes you right to Discussions. The Quizzes takes you right to Quizzes. Perusal takes you right to Perusal, etc. You don't really need these links over here because everything's on the home page, but uh, sometimes it's nice to see things in a smaller um, amount. So that's pretty much everything for Canvas. And so now 
but let's look at perusal. Nope, that's the reading quiz. So when you click on the perusal assignment, this is what it's going to look like. Kind of, it might look different over here. Um, I could go to student view, but that'll mess stuff up. So you'll see the reading that you clicked on. So this is the reading for the first day, Must One Obey One's Conscience by Elizabeth Anscom. And so you have the reading here and you're reading through it. And what you want to be doing is annotating it too. So let's say, for instance, there's this sentence and I have something interesting to say. I can highlight the sentence. I just click and drag over it. It brings up a highlight here and over here I can type a comment. So something interesting. And so uh, I post my comment and now the other people on perusal can see your comment. Uh, maybe they can reply to your comment, uh, things like that. Um, the perusal group is not the whole class, so it's not going to be 30 people annotating this assignment. I think I've broken it up into groups of like five or something. Um, so you'll just be working with a smaller subset of people. And uh, that's the main way you annotate on perusal. You can also uh, take notes for yourself about the reading if you want. Uh, I think you can start, uh, no, you have to, I don't know, there's, there's other things you can do. But the main way is by highlighting things and writing things. So. Um, that's how perusal works. And Flipgrid, I'm not sure. I mean, Flipgrid is pretty easy to use. Well, maybe I can show you. Let's see. Oh. Well, it didn't used to work like this, but now it seems to work. So with Flipgrid, you just go to the relevant discussion, and then you click Record a Response and then it brings up the thing, and it's, well, it's not working for me here. It's a long story, but um, you just basically click a button and record what you want to say, and you'll say it, and then it'll go up on Flipgrid. And that, I think, covers all of the technical things in the course. And of course, if you have any questions, uh, please email me. So. Bye.